Good news for Quebec music lovers, bad news for Canadian movie fans. Madonna's made over, and the famous corporation takes aim. Almost 13 million TV viewers in Britain tune in weekly to see the royal family make fools of themselves. Henry, may God bless him and all who sail in him. In the satirical program Spitting Image, life-size puppets cavort in vicious parodies of most of England's best-known politicians and public figures. Last Saturday, the show crossed the Atlantic to take aim at the White House in a half-hour NBC special. The story featured a secret group called the Famous Corporation that controls the country. And even though the show's creators tried to tone down some of the caricatures, it's unlikely that those in the American heartland were pleased with this perception of the president. Hello? Hello? Same damn obscene call every morning. That's the sound of Musique Plus, the new video network that started this week on Quebec Pay TV. For French language musicians, this francophone cousin of English Canada's Much Music might just help boost the business that's been hitting some sour notes lately. Although the idea of Madonna as a missionary in her current film Shanghai Surprise is stretching the imagination a bit too far, there's no doubt her new image isn't hurting record sales. Her album's number one in countries from Belgium to Hong Kong, and her Marilyn Monroe makeover seems to have satisfied her fans as much as her marriage to the lovable Sean Penn. This week, pay TV operators finally got what they wanted from the CRTC, a cut in the amount of Canadian content they're required to broadcast. Critics say that means more Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jessica Lange and fewer homegrown movies. And to talk about these stories in entertainment, here with me, broadcasters Mary Ambrose and Anne Petrie in Winnipeg. Hi, I've missed you. Hi. <laughs> well, we missed you too, Valerie. Oh, thanks. But you were great. Anyway, um, CanCon on pay TV, is this just giving up on the ideal? Well, I think it's really an unfortunate time to do it. It's a year before these guys renew their licenses. They, I mean, this was the amount of Canadian content they said they could do. They're making money. There's no reason to believe that they're going to up it back up to 50%. I, I think it's, it just it's, it doesn't bode all that well. And given that the other broadcasters are going to come in for a application to renew their licenses, like CTV, who has been hopeless with Canadian drama, it just, the sort of deregulation part kind of makes me a little bit nervous. I don't know why they couldn't have at least waited. I don't know why they can't restructure it as opposed to reduce the content why they can't allow for instance pay tv to buy their own canadian productions which they can't do now i just it just seems a little nervous making for the you know the canadian arts community i think okay and petrie madonna her movie yeah, is opening I, but i like her record album well i like her record album i'm i'm thankful i am so grateful for the new look i am glad we do not have to wear the crucifixes and the torn clothes anymore now it's marilyn monroe capri pants and little moles on our faces that's very big but also i think it's very interesting that she and Sean Penn, not satisfied with inflicting themselves upon us via the silver screen, are now going to Broadway and get this, a very classy David Rabe play called uh, Goose and Tom Tom. So these people never quit. <laughs> but they'd make you ill? <laughs> or do you think they've got talent? <laughs> well, I don't, who knows anymore? That's the problem. Who knows if they've got talent anymore? They're just, they're just hype. Well, oh, Anne, we'll send you, I agree with that. I like the record, but yeah. we'll send you a little eyebrow pencil you can paint the mole on for next week. <laughs> um, spitting image, do you think it will transfer, that it'll be a success crossing the ocean? No, those, those I think puppets. it's so sad. I wish that they'd done their thing in Canada. You know, I wish they could have taken off the, the House of Commons here. I think it would have been very funny. It's enormously yeah. funny in Britain. Their stuff on the royal family, hysterical. It just doesn't work in the States, and it's too bad. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's because so many of the cartoons we've seen before, but I love the characterization of Reagan. It's on tomorrow night if you want to see them do it again. <laughs> you know, you know what did work in the States this week, and it's very interesting, is the, um, the crack documentary done by CBS. Apparently it did better than any documentary has done in six years. Swept the ratings for its time period, I believe, on Wednesday night. And uh, if, you, if you look ahead and see the kind of documentaries that are coming up from the major American networks, they are all doing these crack documentaries. Or about, about drugs. Drugs is yeah, the Yeah, drugs. Thing. It's going to be the sexy subject uh, as far as documentaries go for 1986-87. Uh, it's going to, in fact, go into the drama. Sophia Loren's coming out with a thing in the end of September about being the mother of a drug addict. I mean, I think you're right. It's going to, we're going to be mining this topic for quite a while. Yeah, well, you, you know what? Nancy Reagan actually phoned Dan Rather after this thing and told him what a good job it was. That makes you wonder, actually, how good the show was. Well, you know, I heard mixed reviews on it, but you're right. If it did well, then there's sure to be imitators. Well, and everybody knows the position, right? I mean, nobody's pro-drug addict. Okay. Yeah, so it's easy yeah. to do. Yeah. Lovely to see you both.
Lovely you to too. see you. Glad about the baby.